hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i will briefly discuss about electron volt in order to understand this or describe this we will dis we will assume that there are two point charges are present here one is known as plus q and other is also known as plus q and the difference between these two charges and the potential between these two charges is known as potential difference and this potential difference is in the form of change in potential and these two charges having and some energy or potential energy so it will be in the form of delta u so this delta u will be equal to uh, q into delta v so q is a charge present on that char uh, and this positive point charge or a test charge and v b minus v a is a potential difference between point b and point a or the potential difference of the charge b and the charge a so in when these two point charges are present and there is a distance between them they have some potential energy and if there is uh, these are moving or if you want to move in the equilibrium motion then there will be no force applied on this so in order to further understand this this concept is useful because no force is acting on a body and these two charges are in equilibrium then this energy is converted into kinetic energy so kinetic energy is equal to q into v b minus v a so this is the expression uh, generated by after the theory of potential energy and kinetic energy present between these two charges and uh, when these two charges are present they uh, automatically tries to move or try to move towards or away from each other due to their uh, polarity between them so kinetic energy will be equal to kinetic energy is equal to q q converted into e electron volt and this is known as electron and and change in volt or change in potential so the kinetic energy has a unit of joule and electron has a unit of coulomb or charge has a unit of coulomb and delta v has a unit of volt so the unit of one volt is equal to joule per coulomb it means that one volt of potential is present or work done on a body having one joule of work and ha having the unit of one coulomb so kinetic energy is equal to e into delta v so value of e is known and very famous value which is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb, coulomb because the unit of charge is coulomb and we will place here so the kinetic energy is here so in order to further understand this concept we will see that this kinetic energy has a unit of joule and uh, the unit of charge is coulomb and the volt has a unit unit of volt or potential difference is volt so we will further uh, assemble this in order to further understand this in uh, we, because we want to calculate the value of one electron volt so this one electron volt is in the form of energy and which will be equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule because this column into volt come from these units and it is joule so one electron volt having a kinetic energy or one electron is moving towards or away from the source charge having kinetic energy and having the kinetic energy is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule so from this we can calculate the value of one electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule because the unit of joule is in, in the form of electron volt or um, coulomb into volt so this is a final expression for the uh, electron volt and the units we have discussed about their units and we have discussed the derivation of electron volt in this uh, video so if you have any question related to the kinetic energy related to potential energy re related to electron volt and potential difference and the potential energy of between these two charges so you can contact me at my email address and if you have any question related to this first you should learn from here or if you do not understand any concept you can contact me on my whatsapp number so in this case you have seen that one electron volt or if you convert it into unit it will be joule or joule is equal to or unit of energy is equal to uh, column into volt and uh, for more videos you should subscribe my channel and if you have any question related to intertest physics related to your exams board exams and related to your college or university exam 
you can contact me at my email address or you can contact me at my whatsapp number i will be available and if you uh, like my video you should share to others other students and friends for more videos and you should learn a lot of things from this thank you so much see you soon